Marsh is that we get to meet some very special guests, like Bella La Belta. Bella La Belta, Bella La Belta, Bella La Belta, Bella La Belta. Calm down, Elsie, calm down. I can't help it. I am so excited. I must admit I never heard of Bella La Belta until today. She's actually really famous. She sings, she dances, she acts. <laughs> I bet she's really rich. Mm, well, why has she come to stay here? She's fed up of having a photo taken all the time. So she's come somewhere quiet and out of the way. Her visit's a big secret. Nobody knows except us, so shh. And Josh. And Mum of Dad, of course. And Wolfie. Well, Wolfie won't tell, will you, Wolfie? <laughs> Seriously, though. It's really important that the Sunny Sands newspaper doesn't find out that she's staying here. Bella La Belta, Bella La Belta. There's no headlines about her in here. I think she's safe. She should have arrived by now. Let's go and see Jason. Come on. <laughs> we ran down to the meadow. Auntie Jules was just mooring Queenie up when we got there. She's here. Bella La Belta's here. Keep your voice down, Elsie. Do you think it's safe for me to take this off now? Absolutely. The mill is the perfect shelter for you, Bella. <laughs> yes, the mill on the marsh was a sunny sand shelter for Bella La Belta. <laughs> Hi, Bella. I'm Elsie. I know all your songs, like you're my boy and I am your girl. Together we can save the world. <laughs> oh, yay! You're a little star of the making, you are. <laughs> and this is Jason. Come on, don't be shy, Jason. He's got a bit of a crush on you, Bella. Stop it, Mum. Hi. Hi, Jason. Look, look. Oh, well, I'm just going to see some friends. See, see you later. Oh, don't tell them about them. I know. Come on, Bella, let me show you to your room. It's got wonderful views all over Sunny Sands. Oh, we thought everything was going really well, but we were wrong. Simon Snappen, the photographer from the Sunny Sands newspaper, had found out about Bella's visit. Oh, great stuff. Great stuff. He'd been hiding all this time, <laughs> taking photos. What Simon Snappen didn't know was that Grandpa was watching him. Oh, no. We can't have this. I love Bella La Belta. Bad news, I'm afraid. Simon Snappen, the Sunny Sands photographer, is out there and he's already taken lots of photos. Look. Oh, no! I'll go and tell Auntie Jules. No, no, no. Because if she makes him go away, he'll tell everyone that Bella is here. Now, you and I can do this together, Elsie. First, make sure that Bella doesn't go outside, and I'll delete all the photos in Mr. Snappum's camera. But how? By being small. Not the shrinking cap, Grandpa! Catch me if you can! When Grandpa shrinks, he gets up to all sorts of things. He loves zooming about in Jason's toy car. jumps about all over the place, and I can't catch him. And today, he was flying in Josh's helicopter. He flew out of the window just in time. Oh, fancy Grandpa going for a little lie down now. I thought he'd want to meet Bella. Oh well, later maybe. She wants a green salad for lunch. Very healthy. <laughs> I hope things were going well in the meadow. Simon Snuffin didn't see Grandpa land in the helicopter. He was eating his lunch and talking to his camera. Good morning's work, that was. Which was a very odd thing to do. We've done brilliantly, you and me, Kevin. He called his camera Kevin. Kevin? By tonight, Kevin, our photos of Bella La Belta are going to be all over the Sunny Sands Gazette. Not if I can help it. While Simon wasn't looking, Grandpa crept up to the camera. Just then, Simon's phone rang. <coughs> oh. oh, it's our boss at the Sunny Sands Gazette, Kevin. Hi, Simon Snapper. Hi, Simon Snapper here. This was Grandpa's chance. Uh huh. Yeah. 
He pressed the delete button over and over and got rid of all the photos of Bella. Oh, I've got loads of photos of Bella. Well, how many exactly? Uh, I'll just check. Simon checked his camera and saw that all the photos of Bella had gone. He couldn't understand it. Uh, hi, uh, there's um, been a problem, like a technical fault or something, but, but don't worry, I'll, I'll get some more snaps. Yeah, I'll just take some more. Um, I'll be in touch. Bye. Oh well, we're just gonna have to try again, Kevin. Get some even better ones this time, eh? Oh, bother. Grandpa's plan hadn't worked. <laughs> Auntie Jaws had made Bella's salad. She took it out of Upsy Downsy, and just then, Bella came in. Oh, that's better. <laughs> now I can relax. <laughs> I thought you might want to have some lunch on the balcony. No, you mustn't. Why not? I had to stop Bella from going outside. There might be flies out there. Yes, billions of buzzy flies waiting to land on your salad. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be silly, Elsie. Come outside, Bella. No, no. <laughs> Excuse me, I just need to have a word with Elsie. I was going to have to tell Auntie Jules what was happening. Girl. There's a photographer in the meadow. Yes. I'm going to borrow Bella's cap and jacket. Then the photographer will think I'm Bella La Belta. But... He'll take some pictures, then he'll go away and leave her in peace. It's a brilliant idea. <laughs> I wasn't sure Grandpa would think this was a brilliant idea after all. Simon Snappum was hiding in our boat, Queenie, waiting to take a photo. And Grandpa was watching him. Then out came Auntie Jules, dressed up as Bella La Belta. Simon was fooled, but Grandpa wasn't. Oh, Bella, you look fantastic. Oh, thanks, sweetie. <clears throat> You're my boy. Maybe not singing. Simon Snappum thought she was really Bella La Belta. He snapped and snapped and snapped. Grandpa was worried. If Simon Snappum took the photos, then everyone in Sunny Sands would know that Bella was here. And just then, who should come back but Jason? Why are you dancing about in Bella La Belta's clothes? Jason! What? What have I done wrong? You explain, Elsie. Well? Come with me and I'll tell you. Simon Snappum was very cross. How dare they try to trick me? How dare they? Oh, I'm not going to stand for it, Kevin. I'm not going to stand... Ah! In fact, he was so cross that he bumped his head on the boat. Oh, dear. He's bumped his head. Oh. Ah, oh. Ah. Grandpa ran towards the boat. He wanted to speak to Simon and he thought of a clever way to do it by pretending to be Kevin the camera. Hey, Simon, you all right, mate? You took a bit of a knock there, didn't you? It's me, Kevin. Simon Snappen couldn't believe his ears. You can talk. Of course I can. I thought you knew that. You're always talking to me. But in all our years of working together, you never said a word back. I only speak if it's really important. And this is, I think we should leave Miss Bella La Belda in peace. You do? I do. She's a lovely girl. Let her enjoy her holiday in the mill on the marsh. We could hear Grandpa. He was doing a brilliant job. You know what, Kevin? You could be right there. We all deserve a bit of holiday. You and me included. I knew you'd see it my way, Simon. Well, I've said my piece. I shan't speak any more. Not unless I have to, of course. OK, understood. Grandpa got out of the way. Oh, come along, matey. So Simon Snappum and Kevin the camera left without any pictures of Bella. It was time for Grandpa to take his cap off. Amazing, Grandpa. I've never seen you be a camera before. Elsie was a great help too, keeping Bella indoors. You know what that was? Teamwork, Grandpa. That's right. Teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> Bella La Belta stayed with us the whole weekend and nobody knew she was here. 
She'd had a really lovely time, but now she had to go. Oh, thanks so much for looking after me. You've all been such sweeties, <laughs> especially you, Jason. You're my boy and I am your girl. Together we can save the world. Bella. <laughs> Would you like to wear the waterproofs too? No, not this time. <laughs> to be honest, I'm surprised no photographers tried to take my picture. I hope the newspapers have forgotten about me. Bye, Elsie! Bye, Wolfie! Bye, Grandpa! Bye! Come back soon! Would you believe it? Now she wants her photo taken. Some people are never satisfied. <laughs> <laughs>